Hey everybody, welcome back. It's now morning day 40, and I did die in the middle of the night last night while I was trying to grab wood. So yeah, it kind of pissed me off because I got a little bit a little bit uh, complacent and just was trying to rush things too much, trying to get too many resources too quickly. Ran out of stamina, but I did get a bunch of wood. We're making a bunch of wood log spikes, and we've got a bunch of concrete blocks we can go place down. So we're going to go do that today. I'm not even going to bother waiting for the rest of that stuff. So I just want to get as much done as I can. I don't have a whole lot of time for recording nowadays, so it's going to be tough for me to continue the series, but I'm going to do my best. Because as most of you probably know, it's just more of a hobby for me. It's not really my job. I don't get any income from this at all. So, But I am going to do my best to, to continue the series for as long as possible. Right now, we're going to head over and... Get as many of this. Oh, we had a nail gun too somewhere. Where is that? We're going to use that and the scythe. I'll probably end up using the scythe today. And I'm going to need a hammer. Uh, we won't be doing any repairing, so that'll work. Nail gun will probably be enough, though, as it is. I'm not too worried about the, the zombies here. We're just going to get out of here and get as much done as possible. Looks like our, some of our crops are coming in, so that's nice. Yeah, there's a wandering horde there, but I don't even have to worry about it. I don't have time for that right now. My main goal right now is just to get as much done as I possibly can on this base. And if we see any animals to hunt, then we'll, we'll hunt them too along the way. I'm not seeing nothing. Shamway probably wouldn't be a bad idea to hit up, but that's more of an early game thing if you're starving and can't find food anywhere. And this place will be nice to like uh, as like a secondary base if we can tunnel into here from our base over there. We'll probably do that because we're gonna need to dig out a massive underground area for well, just basically resources mainly. So yeah, we're gonna start off here. Now I heard there was issues with the cement not drying properly or whatever, so I hope that that's not the case, but just something to be aware of, it could happen. Yeah, we're just going to start with, oh my god, yeah these guys are more aggressive now, they see you from a lot further away, I think I already mentioned that previously. Come on, little bastard. So I'm trying to get my wellness back. When I was poisoned the other day, I lost like 5 or 6 wellness, and then I died and lost another 10, so I'm a little bit pissed off. Well, more or less extremely pissed off. But we'll get it back. Just take some time. I don't know how far this is going to take us, resource wise. We do have a fair amount of blocks, or so you'd think it's a fair amount, it's like 900 and some blocks. It'd be nice to get at least one wall done, but who knows, maybe we'll get more than that. Hmm. So yeah, we'll call it there. I hope this grass doesn't screw me up. I 
Ah, these guys are gonna... This is why I wanted to clear the area. Oh, apparently it's not cleared yet. Now what we should do is actually use this scythe really quick. And just clear out all this grass. Well, as much of it as possible. Mainly just in our line. That should be enough. We still have all these to place down, and we got a whole bunch of spikes to put down. I don't know how far the spikes are going to get us, but I guess we'll find out sooner or later here. sure this is where I have them. So if we continue this all the way down, if we can get one layer down, then I'll have an idea of basically what it takes to, to do one full layer. I'm pretty sure we had exactly 900. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to watch back, but not a big deal either way. there. That's going to be the perimeter. It's a pretty big place. Decent enough size, I think. I don't think we need much bigger anyway. The hardest part's going to be doing all the farming. There's so much farming to do. And again, with less and less time being able to take out of my day to try and do this stuff, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But... We'll see. These guys are already starting to dry, so that's good. Now, I didn't bring any concrete mix to upgrade them. That'll be a whole nother ball game. So that was about half of that stack, right? There was 500 in this stack, I think. So I should have 920 blocks. So, then this should do another row around. be a lot easier to place these two now that we've got one layer down. And then the other thing to think about is to get our entranceway built. Now we gotta think there's gonna be an overhang. 
I'm gonna put like probably three rows of spikes eventually. Normally I only do two, but I think I'll do three this time. But I just gotta think. There's gonna be an overhang, and then I want a three block gap. So it's gonna be this block here. Basically. Can be an entry point. The idea is it's gotta be five high to be able to jump in. One, two, three. So it's gotta be two more high. Ah. So like that. So that will be our little little entryway to get in. We'll be able to jump into the base. I figured I'd put that down now so we don't run out of because I'm gonna be filling this wall in. And if I do that, then I also need an exit as well. Now probably make an exit from the base itself, but I should probably put one here to mimic this one. Now if I decide to put spikes on the inside, I don't know. Zombies shouldn't be spawning in here. I don't know how I'm going to handle the inside, so we'll just wait on that. I just won't trap myself in here. I mean, I've got, I got wood frames to get out too, so it's not a big deal, but... I'm going to have several different ways to get in and out as well. It'll be a way to jump in there. I'm going to have a tunnel that goes out and pops up inside that prefab over there. Probably have it pop out onto the street as well. Well, the cement seems to be drying. Hopefully we don't get any that's stuck not drying. So if we can get at least two layers around this whole thing, that's more than what I thought I was going to get. We'll probably get like two and a half layers. Maybe three. It's hard for me to tell. I didn't really do the full math on it. And it's not my strong point either. Okay, so if we start, I'd rather have, yeah, I'd rather start here. And if any walls to not get anything done on it, it'd be that one. Now, normally I'd speed up some of this stuff, but I'll probably speed up some of the building, but some of you guys probably like to watch the building without speeding it up, so for this episode, we'll just keep it normal building speed. And uh, when it comes to next episode, we'll probably put some music in. Okay, so we are going to need, I didn't bring any ladders with me, ladders probably would have been a good idea as well.
Now I just don't want this place getting damaged while we're away, so we're going to have to put some spikes down the probably the most suspected lead to be attacked walls. I don't know if we're going to get to upgrading them today or not, but that's what I brought the the nail gun for, so it should be fairly quick. that when it skips a block. So we should have enough to go all the way around again and have this like three le three high, which is good. Like that's that's decent. At least no zombies can get in. This is a decent protective starting point. Before we start building the interior base, we are going to be finishing this wall 100%. That car is going to have to go. If it explodes in that spot, it'll do some damage to the terrain I don't want to have happen. Excellent. And then zombie proofing the inside is going to be real difficult, but it'll happen eventually. I think what we should do is add one more layer to this wall. Since this is our main focus wall. Another thing is we can't forget to replace that gravel with concrete either. We're out. That was one full. Okay, so that worked out pretty much to a T. Now where is these guys? We're going to have to place these guys down now. So we'll start here. And we should probably do one row for sure all the way around if we can. I'm pretty sure we can. Actually, maybe not all the way around because what we have to do is anything that we have to dig up, it won't work. So I can do it on the asphalt only. So I can't do it here because I have to dig that up. I have to dig all this up, and if I dig them up with the with the spike already here, it'll just fall and uh, be destroyed. So there's no point. So I'll go as far as to there. Yeah, that's all concrete. We'll do two rows. Did I bring wood? I did bring lots of wood. Okay, good.
Now we should probably do this too. I don't know if I'm going to leave that. I should probably put... Well... We'll leave it like that for now. Uh, we have to come back this way anyway, so... It's just easier to place them in a straight line like this. Now there is another type of base that I want to build later. It's going to be out here in the corners of the streets, just little tiny kind of like hub bases where I can kill kill zombies and they'll be made of like um, basically it's going to have like an entrance in the ground that goes into the base underground and we can pop up in here and when the horde comes they'll die to spikes and you can shoot through bars and stuff like that, either bars or pillars or something like that. And then that'll be like little sub bases like off on the corners that we can use. And if one sub base gets destroyed, you can just go back down into the main base and then pop out into another little sub base where you can fight them again in another little sub base. At least that's the plan anyway. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it, but But I'm gonna try. Let's get this spikes done and over with. Okay, so that's good. We're going to keep these ones. Let's head down here. And this will be nice and quick for upgrading. And we'll just upgrade all these spikes. Excellent. Perfect. So yeah, this is this will take no time, and it looks like all this men's drying, so that's good. Now you see down here, we're not losing any durability. That's just part of the way the base game works. You don't lose durability for upgrading blocks, but you do lose durability for repairing them. So I'm going to have to go back, get more concrete, we're going to have to dig out one row, well two rows wide, one row deep, all the way around these other two sides before we can put down more concrete and then we'll put down more spikes. 
but we've come a long decent ways at least. I've got the wall up. So I mean it's looking a lot better. Concrete's all drying. So that's nice. We have to make sure we bring concrete mixed with us so that we can upgrade, upgrade these guys to reinforce concrete. It'd be nice to get them upgraded to scrap iron as well after that, even. But we have to wait till we get like a lot of scrap iron before we worry about that. Clear out these guys one last time. Excellent. So we're gonna head back. We're gonna drop off these tools and stuff like that. I have the rest bathed. I didn't start losing more wellness because I was thirsty there, but I guess I caught it in time. Yeah, that really sucks that we died again that other last night. That's just like it pisses me off in no end. But yeah, I have to continue chopping wood, get more wood, I have to continue mining for uh, more stone. Uh, I have to wait for the cement mixer to turn that into sand so that we can get more concrete mix and stuff like that. But that's basically the plan now, is just continue to gather resources, continue with that base so that it's when it's done we can start actually working on the inside. I'll probably have to do some farming here and there. That'll be another thing is start farming over at the base so that we have that all set up soon. frames out. Yeah, hopefully you guys like the design idea. Because I do want to get like little sub bases built out on off onto the corners so that we can actually fight the hordes and shoot them and we get shotguns and stuff like that. Like I do have good plans for the future, but whether or not we're actually gonna get to them or not is another question. <laughs> Only time will tell. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.